Well, folks, this time of year, I look for excuses to push snow, and I actually was surprised with how much snow we had. What do we have? Chris, three, four, five inches? I don't even know. Huh? Yeah, five inches at, at most, so I'll take it. I mean, there's a chance to try out uh, a new tool today, and hopefully I get a lot more chances to use it this winter, but I was excited, so uh, you didn't have to do much convincing for me to try this out. And late November snowfall here, I've, I've heard some guys have already had feet of snow in, in different parts of the country, but not us. We had some snow on, on Halloween and then, uh, and then about a month later today. So manual truck that we're using right now. Um, first glitch that I ran into, <coughs> self-inflicted of course. I, I'm pushing along there going down the driveway a couple of times. I'm like, huh. Th you know on your tractors if you're in the wrong range and it just feels like you don't have any torque and it's, the engine's kind of like struggling, you're like, what's going on? And then you realize, oh yeah, I'm in the wrong range. Same exact thing here on the, on the manual shift, the manual transmission, you've got a high and a low range. And I was in high range, <clears throat> didn't even realize that. And so uh, I moved into low range, voila, problem solved. Working great. I uh, found myself uh, mainly in first and second gear. So not a lot of shifting, first, second, and then reverse. <clears throat> it does come with a little mount for the plow controller. And I have not mounted that yet because I kind of wanted to see I kind of wanted to see how I would use all of this, you know, the, the steering wheel, the uh, manual transmission, and then the plow control, and get a feel for that before I uh, screw in or adhe adhere the uh, mount for the controller. And so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount that on the right side, and I'll be able to just use my right hand to control, raise and lower the plow, change the angle, scoop it via it, whatever you wanna do, and then I can just use my left hand, dedicate that to the transmission, and the steering wheel. I guess I could use either hand of the steering wheel. Anyway, that's my thought. Um, didn't take a lot to get used to. I'd say after about halfway through the first drive here, I was really starting to get the hang of it. And you know, I've got, this is only our second winter here and we didn't have a lot of snow last winter. This driveway kind of is rough. Um, it's got a circle driveway area with like a, a um, some parking space on the side and it's got the big concrete pad that's blocked off on one, on one side and of course has a garage. And so it's really a challenge to find the most efficient way to move or push the snow and so that's still coming with just learning the property and the layout and of course it doesn't help probably that I use a lot of different tools you know I've used snow blowers plows pushers rear blades I've used a lot of different things and um, I would say the plows and the pushers and the blade generally you would use those in the same sequence or format or whatever but a snow blower uses a little bit differently too so I think I'll get more efficient with time as I'm using it here. Uh, Tyler over at, uh, at our shop too, we've got another mini dump over there with a straight blade on it. And he cleared the parking lot there. And then, you know, it's kind of like an abandoned business park almost. We're the only business park in it. And we are low priority on getting the road cleared out. And so we're all the way, you have to drive down as far as you can possibly go to get to our business. And they don't plow. So uh, Tyler was actually down there uh, doing some plowing of the main drive as well with it as well. We got a little bit of that on video too. I will say that the uh, the rubber edge that's on here is the way to go for the paved driveway. Number one, it was nice and quiet. You know, you hear that steel scraping and yes, you know it's scraping, but it's also like, yep, that's scraping up my driveway, whether it's the concrete or the uh, the asphalt and the all the crack fill and everything else. So it's nice to have this softer material. Um, did scrape pretty well. Um, you know, it's not going to scrape as well as steel, but I'll take that trade off any day. This snow is going to all melt away. A week from now, I'm pretty sure it'll all be gone. It's going to be in the, in the 40s in the forecast. So, um, you know, I still need to get, I haven't made a decision yet on the, the, the ice melt product that I'm going to put in that salt or that spreader on the back. Um, I don't want to go with straight salt just because of the corrosion. So I'm, I'm still, I've had some folks reach out to with some, some good advice on products that they've used. To not be corrosive, but still work well, you know, decent price point, you know, check all the boxes if you can. I didn't struggle for traction at all, pushing snow today. Uh, we did add four more suitcase weights in there. I don't even know if they were necessary. We've got the spreader in the back too that adds more weight right on the, the rear tires. We were in four wheel drive and actually had locking rear diff on as well, just because um, 
I put them in there just because we had them here. Uh, Tyler, I know over at the shop, didn't have anything in the bag and he said he wasn't losing traction at all. So these things have quite a bit of weight on them. Four wheel drive, selectable of course, you can put it in two or four on there. I will say I had this closer to the cold side on the uh, HVAC controls versus the hot side. It got hot quick in there. So I was just in a sweatshirt the whole time. It was actually, when we started, I think it was 20 degrees out. It's 24 degrees right now. And I mean, that, it was hot. So it'll heat you up nice and nice and toasty. Uh, feet were warm as well. So it really, really nice experience. Good visibility at both of the side view mirrors, the rear view mirror uh, as well. The salter blocks a, a bit of what's right behind you with the rear view mirror, but still overall good visibility. It's nice to have those plow markers on there because you can't actually see the corners of the plow from the cab, but having those plow markers on there lets you know right where things are at. And so that's a, a pretty important feature. So if you want to get one of these plows or one of these mini dumps or the whole combination, the whole setup, you go to minidumps.com to get that. Uh, it's not something that we sell ourselves. We're doing some marketing for these folks. And uh, so you'll go right there to their website, minidumps.com. They can help you out with pricing, with uh, getting the right version you want, if you want a manual or an automatic, if you want a plow, straight plow, V plow, whatever. If you want custom decals on there, if you want a spreader, obviously there's lots of options is, is kind of what I'm saying. And, and uh, they can ship them all over the country to you. And they're called mini dumps because that big bed on the back there is a dump bed. So you just push a button inside the cab, raise it and lower it, uh, swinging tailgate on there. All the sides completely come off if you want them to, uh, full flat, whatever you want. There's a lot of versatility there as well. Imported from Japan, actually a Toyota owned company uh, makes these Yasu. So uh, very high quality. They're driving these uh, up and down the road in, in Japan. So just a very, a very nice, well-built piece of equipment. Um, not full of plastic like my Ranger. I like my Ranger, don't get me wrong. I like my Ranger a lot, but a totally different beast over there and typically cheaper too. Now this plow is really awesome and it is more money of course than the straight blade, but having the ability to, well, you can do anything you want with it. You can close one side, uh, close the other side. You can uh, close it completely like a V. You can open it all the way back up like you want to drive right through the snow and break the snow. I mean, you can just do so many different things with it that the versatility is endless. And so I think that alone is going to take me a little while just to figure out the best angles to use it at for my situation. Everybody's situation is a bit different, but that was a really cool, really cool plow that was on there and similar um, in concept to the plow that we had on our Gator a while back as well. So Fisher is the brand here and it shares a lot of similarities to that gator plow that we had on there. Similar type mount, all those ones seems easier. We haven't actually taken this one on and off. So if you want more information on this setup, again, go to minidumps.com. Now, if you're here because we mainly sell tractor stuff, then you can go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell tractors and tractor attachments. We ship them all over the country every day of the week. If you have any questions on what to get, just shoot us an email, we're happy to help. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon. Thank you.